Hi. So my leg felt slightly better, elevated on the couch. Bella didn't wouldn't have that. She wanted me to be in the bedroom. But I wouldn't have that. I stayed on the couch. A little fight between us. Who whimpers more? But now I'm actually going to bed soon, so I'm yeah, back here. But, um, okay, so I've said before that I was raised Mormon, LDS, and I live in Utah. Utah is predominantly Mormon. Um, just to tell you a little bit about it, um, no, we do not practice polygamy. And I'm no longer LDS, um, but I still respect the religion and I went on a mission for it. Um, to Switzerland, but I spent most of my time in France, so I speak French, and um, being from Utah, there's a, there are a lot of words in the Mormon lingo that I don't think about translating to normal person lingo, because I'm, I'm in Utah, everybody knows what I'm talking about, even people who aren't Mormon, because they live here, and one girl in law school asked how I knew this guy named Trevor and I might have told this story before but after several hundred videos I'm gonna start repeating myself I'm just glad it you know has taken that long but she asked how I knew this guy named Trevor and he's not the kind of person that I would actually be friends with but since there are only like six Mormons in Kansas then you kind of get to know each other and I said we're in the same ward. Well, to that's um, a normal person would say congregation. Okay, Mormons have different words. We use the word ward because it means like a specific geographical area of congregants. Okay, now you know. I was like, we're in the same ward. And I should have just said we're in the same church. We're in the same congregation. She would have understood those. She was like, oh, you were in a mental hospital together? <laughs> kind of. 